Hey guys, this is Clagger. I will show you guys how to compress your video file without losing its quality. The reason to do this is if you want to archive your videos, or in my opinion, the reason I learned this thing is because I had a slow internet around 2016 and I had a hard time uploading videos on YouTube because my video files are around like 2 plus gigabytes. So I look for a way to compress it while retaining the quality of the video. It can half the size of the video file or even one fourth the size. So enough story and let's jump into the tutorial. By the way, don't forget to subscribe this channel. First, you need to head to Handbrake website. Link is in the description down below. Go download the software and install it. After you install Handbrake, you will see this. I will show you guys the video files that we will be compressing. We have here my gameplay footages that are about 2 hours of gameplay that is on 1080p 60fps that is why it is 40 plus gigabytes per video i already compressed these two videos but in 30fps rather than 60fps so that you can see the difference in the size but we will be compressing it its original fps the 60fps so let's go we can drag the video files that we want to compress or browse a folder or select the video file after you put the video files you want to compress, you will see this. If you are just compressing one video, you can set the location of the output of the video file here. But if you are doing multiple videos, you can set all of it in a specific folder by heading to Tools, Preference, in the side menu, click Output Files, and then set the default path you want. After you are done setting it up, just go click the back button and check if the save as path is correct. I will explain to you the important step I use. First, in the summary tab where we can set the format of the video file to mp4 or mkb file. Then go to the next tab, the dimension tab. We can resize the video to what resolution we want and we can also crop the video. Then next will be the video tab where we can set the video codec. I just use the H.264 X.264 setting. But if you want to change the video codec, you have the option to do that. Then the frame rates of the video. We can set it to the same as the source up to 120 FPS. Then we can choose if we want constant frame rate or peak frame rate. But I choose always the peak frame rate. I don't use the optimized video thing. So let's move to the quality setting where we can set constant quality or average bitrate. But I always use the constant quality. Then we can set it if we want lower quality or placebo quality. Meaning a better quality video. Ideally, you want to set it around 26 to 22 because if you go further to the right, you will gain more file size and not gaining better quality or going to the left side will give you uglier video or it will ruin your video quality. The 26 to 22 setting for me is the right range. I already tested it and the quality of the videos is fine for my standard. You can play around it and see it for yourself. Then after that, you can press the start encode because I don't usually use the other tabs like the audio, subtitle, and chapter. If you are compressing one file, you can already press the start encode. But if you have multiple video files, you need to add to the queue to render all. Click the arrow besides to the add to queue button, then click add all. After that, you will see that the queue will have the number of video files you have. Then if you click that, you will see the videos that are ready to be rendered. So let's render it now and press the start queue. We will see in the bottom part of the application the details you want to know like percent of the file completion, the FPS, average FPS, time remaining, and elapsed time. After it is done, we can see now the visual files where we save it. We can see that the visual file decreased dramatically but for sure not losing the quality of the visual we have. We drastically decrease the file size to 2.85 GB from 42 GB. I'll show you guys the quality of both videos. We can see that there is not much difference between the two videos. If you have a sharp eye, I guess you will notice the original file is much sharper than the compressed video, but we still have a great video quality in our compressed video. So, that is it guys on how to compress your video without losing quality. If you like this video, do like it. 
and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video.